All right, so when we're dinking, we respect the bounce, right? We try to make it bounce. I watched Ben Johns yesterday. He does not hit a dink that they can volley. He hits a lot in one, two, and three. All the other people hit much deeper, and he runs in there and volleys and it attacks it. Well, match. Which one? Johns won. That one, yeah. Uh, but no, because that was not the final. The finals, he wasn't in the finals. He was only in the mixed finals, Ben. Let's do two balls and straight ahead and try how many are we going to try and go for? 40. 100 is cross court, Terry. And you skate. Well, you want to take it on the on step in, Diane. You're skating. You're warming up your feet. You're warming up your touch. Don't cross over. Step. No, that's too many steps, Kat. Step in with one step, uh, Kathy, and then back. There, and then back. Don't cross over if you don't need to. The side the ball is on. Hold on one second. That's good, Terry. So, this, uh, hold on one second, Kathy. The side the ball is on, that foot skates to the ball. Don't do the two-step here. That's on a third step, third shot drop from the baseline where there's more time, and it needs more energy. You step across, it gives more energy, and look, they look at this. What if I do this? It's easier. It's hit ready. You want to be hit and recover. You don't want to go in here. Look what they see these feet. They're going to tangle you up when you cross over. If you cross over, you better hit a ball that buys you plenty of time to come back. But right here, if it's on the left side, move the left foot. If the ball's on the right side, move the... So get used to coordinating like that. Good. You can just take one step. You, you should have taken your left step towards the ball, Kathy. Good. And then the right foot. Give her a forehand. Right foot. Good. Good. And keep your paddle on your plane of contact. Good. Good. Step close to the bounce. See the bounce and move to the bounce. Yep. Good. Ready again, Diane. Paddle up. So, listen, everybody. When the ball bounces, what should you be doing? Where, what, where should your weight be, and how, sh how should your balance be? Okay. When that ball bounces there, I should be on the left foot, and it, I should be bending. Whenever a ball bounces, we bend the legs, bend the knee. So, watch this ball, everybody. Bend. Bend. So you see a ball coming by this time is the lowest you're ever going to be. So you don't have to stay bent all the time. I can stand like this as long as I bend to the bounce. Always. Because from the bend, you have a support up and you could catch it. You wait till it comes up here. Now you're going to be all wacky, but the bending to the bounce is crucial. So just try that. So you're already there ready for it. So when it bounces, then you bend and stand up. Bend and up, down and up. That's your skating motion, and your legs are hitting these dinks then, and you don't choke. Go ahead. Down and up. Step to it. You didn't step to it. So there you go. Down. Down when it bounces. Down and lift. Down, down, down. Good. Have the leg down already, Terry. As it comes down, bend. Okay, that should just been your... Yeah. Down. The side the ball is on, it bends down, waiting, and then push up. Step, you could have stepped closer. Step. So give her a ball right here, please. Take that foot up close to that as you see it being close. There, that's better. It was a little too deep, but. Step and up. Good. And then your, your arm is supported with your shoulder, you know? So down, up. Down, up. There you go. Down. No, that was a good shot. 
See, probably should have volleyed it. Down and up, down. You didn't bend soon enough, Terry. Down as it's coming, and then up when you hit it. Bend, up, bend. What? I know. There you go. Does your left bend easier than your right? But but do, but let me ask you here. What do you feel right now when we're in our feet? What happens to your thinking game? Does it not improve a little bit? I mean, you're, you're in a trance. You're in a meditative state in a way. Your feet are doing it. If your feet aren't engaged, your head's going to take over, and that's the worst place to be from. That's where we choke. So in the feet, give me my feet, give me my, my, a little bit of an absorption, and I can, I can play this shot. Now, a lot of times, if you can't bend, at least mentally go, okay, I'm ready, and now up. I mean, it could be a mental, if, I, if I'm hurt, it's just, okay, bend, hit. So bounce up. Bounce up is what I would say. And if you say that, you don't miss as many as if you go, what is this about? I don't know. How long am I going to do this? Okay, I, I cannot last any long. I'm going to choke pretty soon. That, that voice is not a healthy voice to listen to. But if you talk to the athlete and teach it what we're going to do, you can always hit 20 dinks and it's fine. Now we're going to go cross court. What happens when we go cross court? We're all in, in square five when we did this, right? Now we can't step in the kitchen. It's the right foot that opens up just a little bit. Your left foot, no, from this side it was right, left, there's too much. Now look what I did, it's just a little pivot. I'm still in offense zone when I'm facing her. My belly and my toes are, are pointed at that person. Your left foot is pointed over there. There you go, no more than that. And, and now we have more space to cover. So that right now there's a shot I don't have. It's that number six if she hits it there. Can you see that? That's not in my V. So if I see her hitting it, I have to pivot first here. Now look, now my paddle might. Then I go right, left. I may be actually ready. I took my inside foot, I pushed here, and I might pick it up here or volley it or go back because this is a corner that's difficult. But it's also difficult for them to hit it. I'll be able to read some of them. Try to hit that corner there, Terry, if you, oops, sorry. Here, try and hit that over. You see, I can reach it. You see how I just picked that up? I, I can, you have to get out of the kitchen in between. But you see how I reached that? Only because I did this. If I try to go over here, you're gonna stumble. So the pivoting of your body makes you really reach some of these shots. For, yeah, for you over there would be really reaching for the forehand without having to physically go there. So we'll do two balls. We're going to see how long you can last here. Here you go. It's still on the rise. Bounce up. Firm wrist, Terry. Bounce up. You waited too long, Kat. As soon as you see the bounce, put one foot behind the bounce. Diane, don't be, yep, be on your front foot when you hit it. Push, step in. Now hit to her backhand. Good. Move her around. Now forehand. Now go to the backhand if you can. There you go. See, she's not taking the backhand. There you go. And then forehand. Good. Okay. Hold it. Diane, do you notice how she was moving you around more than you were moving her? Yeah. So what does, what does that mean? What, what, are you in offense, defense, or neutral? Oh, I would be in defense. Okay, so what's your goal when you're in defense? While thinking, what, where's your target area? My target area in defense would be a five. One, two, threes. Yeah. Do you know the squares? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so one, two, three. Now they got deeper and deeper, and she got more and more volleys. So when you recognize you're in trouble, I don't care where you hit it, but it's got to be in this area in here. And that's what I was talking about, Ben Johns. He would never hit something like that that would be a chance for them to, um, to attack when he's on defense or just wants to hit a ball that they can't attack. One, two, and three. Now, you were good. You should see uh, Kat moved uh, Diane way over there. Go over there. A couple of times. Now, even though Kat got another forehand, 
she can now go to four because she's the one dictating her. So when you're dictating an offense, you can use all the squares. And you can definitely go to four. But in defense, when we're, we don't go safe to four, that's, that's left for the, for the, uh, the team that's dictating. Um, any questions on so that? Is it fair to say that one, two, three is always defense? Yes. Four, five, six is always offense? Yep, yep. And the line that divides them is a neutral line. So if the coach says, hit four dinks before anything goes, I would aim at the neutral line for everyone so it's not offense or defense for anyone. And then you start to recognize what's a neutral dink. So when I see people starting like this, I'm like, oh, God, I, I need a new partner to play with. Well, that was a horrible start I hit. But if I hit this, it's neutral. See, that was maybe defense. But we're just standing here. We're just, see, that's gettable. See, that's too deep. That's not neutral. I can attack that. So you aim right in here with a low dink. It, I mean, it's a very short, that one there, it's just neutral. There you go, neutral. Okay. Now go to Diane, sorry, neutral, neutral, too deep, neutral. There you go, neutral, not too deep. No, it's too, see how it's too deep? Somehow, look, listen, you guys, you've been told always to hit their, their feet. That is when you're dictating. And you're doing it even when you're being dictated at or dictated to. So within this game here, I want us to not have any attackable ball. So anytime I'm a little bit scrambling, my first thought is do not give them a volley. So then if I can hit it like that, I've saved the day, have I not? Try and attack that one. So I would aim at the neutral line, hoping to get one, two, and three. If I only aim at, at two, I might hit it in the net. So the, the line, the crack right there, is a really good way to, to aim. So let's do one ball and do four times over. What does that mean? Four neutral balls. And then it's game on. Meaning, I want to see who is the offensive team dinking, who is the defensive, and what, how are your responses? So she's doing this to Di Diane. Just listen, if she's doing this to Diane and then Diane bails to you, you want to maintain her offense, what are you going to do? You might go cross court and move Kathy way over here and not just bail back with her because straight ahead is a bailout. You know what I mean? So you don't want to, when she's offense and you get a ball, you should think of what can you do that makes it offense without power? Because we always think power is attack. No, it just means a better placement than neutral. So let me ask you, let me ask you, uh, uh, maybe I hate to say, it, is this always true question? Because nothing's always true. Should you always, if you're on defense, go through neutral first before you Yes, play? yes. You should try to buy time with a bounce, which is where the triangles come in, the bounce, the bounce, the bounce, or a lob. By time, even if they're going to smack it while it's up there, for a second I'm in kind of neutral, but then here comes the attack again. Yes. Always try to neutralize before you up it again. Okay, so you got it. It's almost like going through the transition. It so is. Go so that's kind of what I want to do with you guys right now, because if you get that mindset, you make far better choices. You know, how many people get a hard ball and say, oh, then you just kind of go hard I'm back. Go back yeah, and not on a bounce. Sometimes on a volley up here, we go hard, harder, hardest. But start at the line, think as a team. Are we okay standing with partners? Okay, four neutral balls. Here we go, yeah, go ahead. Neutral, neutral, the feet make it neutral. Step in, neutral. Good, neutral. Now game on. Hold it. So well, who hit the first offensive dink? No, Diane hit your feet. It was deep. So when you had your feet, this distance isn't going to work. It came from cross court. You have a heck of a lot better chance not changing direction and not bailing. It's cross court. You have much more room for one, two, and three. That's how she lost that point. Go ahead, Terry. Okay, neutral. Neutral, good, just neutral. Okay, do we have this? Here comes the ball. Face me. I know what I did, yes. Okay, let that go. That's a four shot. That's come on over, Terry. That's your ball. Good. Okay. So it's all right. But neutral is in the kitchen, not at the yeah, one, two, three. I got one. I got one. One. 
focus. Two, three, four. Good. Game on. Okay. Stay, stay here. So every time, this was kind of a good shot on your part. Expect a pop-up. Now put your paddle up in a, in, in a continuation of this ball. It's going to continue higher. Wait there. See, she's wait. See, you want to think it's going to continue. Put it up in the continuation. And then it, you're hoping that it doesn't keep going. You're actually, it's an, it's, you're hoping it doesn't keep going. You're hoping like right here, it finally starts to drop. Now you are above the ball. But if you stand here waiting for it to come down here, you're going to hit them out. So you start higher than you think. See? And then when the ball finally, I mean, it finally drops. But I can hit that because I start here. I couldn't hit it if I started here. Start up when you see it. Let it drop. And then see the down part is another one I really want us to, to cement today. Okay, four neutral. One. Two, that's too hard. Here, here's a neutral line. Boom, one, two, three, four. Backhand, back to Kathy. There you go. Okay. So when this happens, so when I say neutral, you're all going in la-la land. It just means it's that you're still going to move. You're like when they're over here, Terry, you got to look for that middle. You're still looking to cover the court. It's just not going to be bang, bang, bang. But don't be casual. This is, this is like tremendously focused on not overhitting and not underhitting and just not missing. So when I say neutral, it's not missing and no holes. It's kind of a slow motion. One, two, focus, three, good. Focus, focus. Good. You're going to step in there, and where are you going to hit that? Straight across, because look, step in. No. Where are you aiming? Square one. You match it. You're stepping in here. You reset right here. Why here? To buy time to get out of the kitchen again. You hit it deeper, and they volley it. They're going to catch you. You're vulnerable here. So you hit it here. One, two, three, one, two, three. You match it. Yeah, but no, it matters because if she hits it here, she has less court to recover to and less responsibility. If she hits it over there, she has to get into there and, and she's vulnerable for the, she's opened up a can of worms. So you hit it right in front from where, it, like here, the first choice is here. Right here, the first choice is here. Match it. Mirror it. If she's going to change direction, you go from the middle in front of yourself. We did that. We don't go away. From, we don't go cross court when we're in the kitchen tight because we have twice the, I mean, we have three times the court to cover afterwards. We want to be the little V versus the big V when you're in here. Okay. So four times again, just neutral. Think, really focus on where it's going to bounce. Good. That's it, Terry. Focus. Okay, game on. Can move a little bit more now. Good, step in. Move. Good idea. You had a backhand there that you hit here. I want you to hit it there. Everybody hits it there. This is a new shot for us. I want you to kind of incorporate it. Good play. Very good. Neutral is just a different aim, isn't it? Neutral. Good. Move your feet so you can make neutral. Nice. Okay. Better. Where did it come from? Here. So step in and get right back there. Better shot. Yep. Good. Keep it going. Step in. Nice, Terry. Step in. Very good. You look like Ben Johns now. <laughs> Not too deep. There you go. One, two, three. Yes. There. Do they ever teach to hit it here? No, they teach hit to feet. One, two, and three are our get out of trouble shots. We don't even care about triangles. We just don't want to be attacked and we want to have time to come back. Watch Ben Johns. I was so amazed yesterday how 
how disciplined he is in this. I mean, he could be my my demo guy because how he plays is how we how dynamite doubles works. Ask him to explain it. He goes, I don't know. It's just how I play. He can't explain it, but he sees it. And it works for him. Well, it works. I mean, this works. I ran into Ted Eppie Johnson, but that's another story. So, um, good. Any questions? Go ahead, Diane. So we're playing neutral. That's too hard. Two, yeah. neutral. Good. Just get it. No, too deep. Neutral is just at the midline. Tech, wait and see, and then it will have a life of its own. Okay, now it's kind of game on. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. So, Terry, what are you looking for here when you see her backhand? Are you looking for a backhand or a forehand for you? For me, mm -hmm. I should be looking for a backhand. No, you should be looking for a forehand. Do you see my back to you like that? You're hoping to get a forehand. She's hoping desperately to get it over to your backhand. But when you've hit a shot here, it takes a lot of effort to do that. A lot of times you will get a forehand, then you don't need to hit that back here. The forehand is your opportunity ball. Where could you hit that forehand? See, when I'm here, Diane has come over. Okay, we've just shifted, like the windshield wiper. Now, if you get that forehand and dink it in front of yourself, this is something I mentioned yesterday they really like. So you guys stay there. She hits it there. We're going to now go. Let's count our steps. One, two, three, four maybe before we're back here. How many steps would you take? You're standing on your dime. You're just pivoting. So if you can move one half of a step to our four or five, you're going to win the dinking game. So the sooner you can see this whole changing the whole unit off a middle ball, do it. That's the same thing as I say, punish them for hitting outside to inside. But we've come over here. Okay, you're facing me. You're in the middle more. Face me with your toes. Good. You get a forehand now. Many people go power. But what if you just think that can you not see how that will be? So now hit the forehand where, you, where I say. Now pivot. Get everybody. There you go. Okay, you didn't move over there, and you need to move there. Just half a step. But... You are baiting her for that shot. You created some offense. Unfortunately, you weren't there for it. You put her in trouble. Did she not? She yeah. kind of made you stumble. So give me a ball here. So um, I'm going to give Diane a short one in the middle. You're not in trouble. Trouble would be behind her. But it's just going to be right in the neutral ball. You step towards it, and you hit it to Terry there. Now everybody be ready. Recover. How's that? I mean, do you see how hard she's going to have to hit it back into the court? You take that backhand easy and hit it over here. Who knows what they're going to do? So any opportunity in the middle, hit it in front of yourself like that. Nice. Neutralize again. Good. Good. Reset. Good. I think you hit it too deep. Because she, you know, you, yeah, okay, here we go. Uh, nice. So when you had a dink there, you, you got too aggressive. See how she gave you a volley? Look for the volley and be taking that as a gift. That's a bad dink. Take that, either lob it over there, go hard, attack. Don't be uh, surprised, in other words. For everything I hit, I'm thinking, I wonder if this is going to be a volley where I can get my offense going. Because in neutral, I don't just stand here, oh, da-da-da-da-da, we're neutral. Every time I'm hanging in neutral, I'm looking to up it. If they don't up it, I will. We cannot stay in neutral un unless the coach says four balls in neutral. That's just for discipline. As soon as it's after four, you should be chomping by the bit not to go power and attack, but to get the domination in the kitchen going. Okay? So I, we start, and then when you set the tone, the other team should try desperately for one, two, and three to what? To neutralize their offense, hoping they give you a neutral ball back that you then up it. So let's see if we can notice who ups it. I'll just start it randomly. Good, neutral, good, good, defense, good. 
Step in. Good. Still neutral. Very good. Hit it. Right idea. That was right. Good mistake. But it was driven by Terry's part. Yeah. But, you know, she but, that but once you were in here, huh? once she was in here, how she, see how she hit that up there? When you are in here, make sure you learn to just hit it there. You cannot think of hitting their feet. But you, uh, you, exp you anticipated that. Here we go. Nice. Very good. You moved it around too much middle. Middle means they can start moving you around. Go ahead. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, because respect the bounce. What does that mean? Don't hit a hard shot off a bounce. You had her. She was going there. Now you finally got, you keep working her till she's ready for it. She kind of earned that. Good. Back cross court. Burn her. No. Burn her. We got, it. well. Well, I didn't have the four, so I wasn't thinking. It burning. doesn't matter. Okay. You had, no, show me the motion you made to hit that here. You took. I mean, you took like two or three steps. Try, so try, you kind of did this. One more step. She, you saw more than I'm one step. You are not gonna. So oh, right there, right. there are three shots. There's this shot. There's that shot. Sorry, there or middle. But it's gonna go to her when she's in the kitchen hitting it to you. Yes, ma'am. In the kitchen, hit it at him. Okay. We started out with everybody does this. I don't understand. But that's the thing I want to break bad habits. So basically what we're trying to do offensively by one, two, and three is to bait them into the kitchen so we can... Where they hit is kind of a, 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 a wrong like shot. A yes. Almost. Well, you're bringing them in to hope that they don't understand where to hit that and then burn them on that. One, two, three is a really good defensive shot that gets you into neutral. And then if they don't hit a good shot, you're an offense. And that's what you said. It takes us to neutral automatically. And they have to kind of uh, answer to that. Good. Good. You can go. Who was in charge there? Did anybody feel in charge? See, I felt you actually, you didn't go defense. They were kind of equal, but good. So I wouldn't, I would have maybe one of you, I would have started going to four because you were equally in charge, okay. but there certainly was no reason to change direction and go to another player. You're working each other. So when this player is going forehand to forehand and you're not getting kind of hit it in the middle then, because otherwise you're too predictable and it's going to be here. I have a question for you. When you and I know that they're playing at a completely different level, but... When you see the pros play, I, and I've seen it in mixed doubles more than I do in, in gender doubles, you'll see sometimes the guys will come all the way over here and just dink it back over there. What? Are, what? Why are they doing that? Why? I mean, she's perfectly capable of doing. Yeah, that. but the guy proposes more threat, and the guy is there hoping they're going to think they can beat him, and then he gets them. He he wants he's, want, trying, he, to he's trying to bait them. Okay. Yeah, okay. and he. Stop taking my ball stuff. It's more like what's, what's he's trying to. Doing? He's trying to get the running shot where he can have some. He's trying to create a situation where he can do something. She's not going to do anything, but da da da. He wants to create offense, and that creates offense because with him there, they see an opening. He's baiting them, and sometimes he can't go over there again. Ben does this. He goes there. And he rolls it here, and that's the same bait again. Okay. He's doing this more now than he's doing that. Because he's seeing that he's more likely to get the bait here. Or people are seeing his patterns and he's got to change it. Well, of course. But it's like you always you have one pattern and you do the next one and you keep building on your own. But so are we look, are you getting to look a little bit? Is it helping? Yes. Look for neutral, look for defense, look for offense, and try and stay with it. And really enjoy getting them shuffling and stumbling. Well, if you can, let, let me say, so if, if you can, let's see, I mean, it's hard, but give me a ball, so I'll go neutral, 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 
defense. No, yeah. So see, I no, I don't think. See that that's what's confusing. I wanna, I wanna say, you should have said it much sooner. Like when you hit it, you should say offense, meaning you're gonna hit an offensive ball, not what I'm gonna. So now I would have said defense. Well, by definition, if I hit offense, you're on defense. Yeah, but you're saying at the same time here. You need to say it when you're hit, before you hit it, like neutral. neutral. Okay, here. Neutral. 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 Defense. Offense. So my defensive shot created... See, see, I hit defense. She took the offense too literal, and she hit it cross-court hard and up. That's not it. You need to hit it cross court, but a dink. So this is where we're, we're having a little discussion with our mind that's going to have a different message than what we're doing. We're training our minds to be disciplined, read the ball as soon as you can, make a decision, and stick with it. This will be neutral. Okay, that, so what, what? So see how high you lifted that? For neutral, you don't need to hit that high. Lower. There. That was defense, Diane. Good. Neutral. Good. Good. Neutral. Off. We don't speed up a bouncing ball. I want you to dink it over there. Okay. That's more offense than here. But this was a good one. You didn't hit it there. Here we go. Neutral. Good. Neutral. Neutral. Defense. Good. Neutral. D yeah, neutral. If you can. So if I say neutral, you're reading this neutral. If I say neutral to Kat here and she sees it, what should she be thinking? Offense. Offense. Okay. Which is not there. So here's a neutral ball from Diane. Oh, game on. Start grinding. Maybe a little wider. Maybe there. Just a little more to four, five, and six. Okay. This is neutral. When you get a neutral ball after the first couple, start penetrating. So let's call neutral. Two neutral. 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 Game on. Defense. Very good. That was offense then, right? Do you see cat kind of poaching? That ball immediately means cat's on. Big. If it's in easy, you stay home. But that's that's anticipation. Good. Neutral. 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 Defense. Change your hold it. Yeah. It's not gonna be open in a match. People are gonna come back and smack Terry. So moving a little bit. She hit the good shot. She got this. I would have taken that same ball cat takes here with a forehand. I would have taken with a backhand and caught her. Same winning shot, but this is correct, and this is at a lower level. Oh, that would be such a... You need to add that to your quiver. You're already a beast on these. You, you yeah. Would totally play people. It would. It's just like... See... You think you're going this way. You're but see, I, it's taking the backhand. When I'm hit, I'm the cross-court player. I'm looking for the middle ball. That will always be a backhand when you play the right side. It will always be a forehand when you play the left side. So you are hitting cross court. You're looking for a backhand that's going to attack Terry. That's what you're looking for. So when she reaches here with the forehand, she's going to hit the, sh the illusionary hole that... So every time we see, a, exactly. we see a middle ball, we need to be thinking, look this way, but go that way. Yeah, it's, it's not even... It's, it's just coming in with a paddle at 2 o'clock. Right. That goes there. Your shoulder, yeah, you're looking at the ball, but your shoulder, everything is just going that way. Yeah, it goes across your body that way. I'll try it. Here you go. Look to hit in front of you. Okay, don't, don't, yeah, it's good, but don't just stay, step right towards the ball facing me. You don't have to turn anymore. And your paddle leads, and then the paddle just goes that way. So have it a little lower. Okay, good. Give me a ball here. Can take a step towards the bounce. And with the paddle leading, there you go. No spin. I'll take the basket. You come in with like a scoop, a spoon, and you just lift it. It's not an aggressive topspin. 
No, roll, roll it. Just lift it gently, like, like you're pushing in a drawer. Just pushing it up. Step in, push it up. There you go. Game on. Go keep going cross cord, cat. Cross cord. Look for forehand and backhand. Now you look for backhand. Oh, See, you didn't. You did the same on that middle ball there. Take a backhand and have fun with it. Except for power. Let me, How, let me ask you this. There was one that came in about here. From whom? Line, in, yeah, yeah. I, that would have been okay. Yeah, but not here because that could, no, no, that yeah, creates wrong way one. Yeah. Yes, Diane yes. Off. If you can, it's quicker. Okay. Now you take this one, Diane, and hit it here. Too hard. Too sorry. Okay, stop again. Step in the kitchen the way you did for a backhand. No, just with one foot. Like you're just crossing over, step towards diagonally. Good, and lead with your pad. Put your pad. Okay, right now. No, no, but it's fine. But look at your positioning. What's your main concern right now? Get back and get. No, just get back and get ready. Regardless of what she's going to do. You're in the kitchen, you have your back turned to this. You have to hit a shot that you can get back there and ready. So obviously it has to be really shallow and bouncing on, unless you, otherwise you won't have time. So anytime you're out of position, think, what do I need to hit for me to get back to live for another shot? It's not just that shot, but afterwards. Now step in and then come back. Very good. That was the key. Whether she gets it or not, I don't really care. You are ready. You're going to play opponents who get this and go there, and you say, thank you very much. She didn't get it. You don't care. You're not playing the people. You're playing when it comes back, are we ready? Now step in again. Okay, now stay where you are. Kathy, you're over there. Look where she is. She's also, you're closer to the line in offense. So she's there doing this, facing this in case you didn't take it. That She was looking at the same ball. That's why you hit it here. Now when you come back, Look how, no, you stay, you don't move. You have left her completely ready for anything. The lob, the middle, the this. Now step in again. Look, remember how ready she was? Now you think of to be cute and hit it over here. Look at the two of you now for this ball. Even if it bounces here, she's gonna have to come over here. You're gonna have to look at the middle now. And by the time you do that, she lobs over your head. And you're like, you know, you just pretzeled. That's what this system is about. You step in front of your partner, you hit in front of yourself. You don't hit away from yourself when you step in front of your partner. Hit in front of yourself. Yep, good. Burn him. She just did it. Ka Diane just did it. I know it was a good shot, but if you lob that corner, this one left the whole, it didn't help you. I want her to burn, and she's going to stop doing that thing. Hit it in front of yourself, Kathy. Good. Recover. Burn her. It's okay. You No, it's fine because you, you lob it. This When somebody does the inside out away from you, try to lob in a diagonal corner. Can we try and do just that? All right, so I'm going to have Terry's turn. Terry, you're going to hit it here. Hit it back here. Okay, let's do it again. Um, bad setup. So I'm going to have to have you do the wrong thing. Terry, you're going to step in the kitchen. You're going to hit it over there to Kathy's backhand, and Kathy needs to lob it in that corner. I don't care if you run, but because it's a bad shot, I'm teaching you to hit, but she's going to learn to see it. Okay, so step in the kitchen, hit it to Kathy, lob her. Okay, can you hit it in the kitchen, please, so she doesn't volley it? Lob it. Okay, good. A little more depth and get the direction. Lob it. Okay. Much higher, though. You do not want her to jump up and get it. One more time. So get behind it, Kathy. Okay, you're not moving your feet. See, I don't care about how fast you hit it, move a little bit. So. Here comes the player. She steps in the kitchen. I'm going, I hope she hits it to me. And I'm going to go back and have some bite on that ball. And now I can hit it harder. I have the distance. She's not going to get it still, even if the whole world knows. So go ahead. Hit me to my back and I'll move a little bit. 
Here we go. Hit it. I'm doing it. Oh, sorry, it was a bad shot. So I see this, Diane. You'll be ready to. She's in the kitchen. There it is. Okay. So it's it's like already premeditated. So I don't do it out of my feet because it's going to be. A, I need a little bit more ball to to play with. The lob is already in my mind. It's not only just that they're in the kitchen; it's that they give you a deep shot. No. No, because you wanted me to love Diane's shot that was actually a very good, yeah, yeah. Very good shot. Right it's there. the fact that it's wrong way, Wanda. She's stepping in front, step in front of your partner. See, uh, this is something we are avoiding to do, opponents do all the time. When that player is in front of Cat, I do not want to hit a ball at Cat. I want to burn that person for, in my opinion, hitting a really bad shot for the team. When I lob there, she's going to look at her saying, you go get it. I can't get it. I'm in the kitchen. And you're going, there's no way she can get it. Now we got them. That's the communication that I want the people to, to go. Now you're going to take this ball and do the shot you love to hit. And just don't run back because there are balls back there. And you're going to lob it this time. So take it. Lob it. Awesome. Can you kind of see, like you're totally flat-footed, right? You're saying, there's absolutely nothing I can do. Remember the other way when she hits it here, how you're golden saying, this is so cool. Right now, she's ready to get the next bus because that is a team breaker, whereas this is a team maker. All right, one more time. Hit it away from yourself, Kat. Lob her. Okay. okay, so make sure you really, it's an offensive lob. You take your time, you hit that. You can even go over Terry, but it's got to go up and over them. You're already, when you see her in the kitchen, thinking, now face her. Be ready. She's hitting this shot thinking she's doing offense. You got something better in mind. So be ready for it, Diane. Go get it. No, that's fine. That's good. There it is. See, that had more energy. Like, be ready. Bring it on. Yes, you're going to be in trouble. But if you already have the lob set, you're willing to, to make that run. All right. So you're going to hit, Diane, you're going to hit one here. Um, no. You're going to step in and take this. It's coming from here, and you're changing direction going there, and you're thinking, I hope she hits it to me. You're going to get over there and lob it diagonally. Take it. Don't lob it. it it's, it's pretty pretzeling, isn't it? I mean, it's not what you want. When you hit a, a backhand, you look for the middle. When you get a middle and hit it away, you don't know how to defend that. Do it one more time. Terry, look for it. Yeah. And if people get frustrated, say, do you really want to know? Tell them. That's why you do it. I do it in a lesson. And people, what are you doing? Are you trying to beat us? No, I'm trying to prove a point, that that's a bad shot. And if you keep dinking to her, she's going to keep doing it. Somebody steps towards you on a diagonal. They are now in wrong way, Wanda, if they hit to you. The diagonal player, oh my God. So try it one more time. Be totally ready, Terry. Hope it comes to you. Yep. Yep. Soft and easy. Just be ready. Well, of course, that one you pounced down. Well, that one you hit down. You are, you're going to win the point. Is when I'm, My point is you need to, to dink it. You dink it to her, and then you get lobbed. Your point is if she hits to you, you are offense. Whereas they think they're offense. So you're turning the, 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 now, lobber. It's pretty, and what do you think, right? Yeah, I admire Well, your kind of word is she comes hard at you. Yeah. So you can't be running for it. You're in the kitchen. You can't run for it. It's an open shot. Now, if you hit the ball here, what does Diane then think? That same ball. Kathy, hit it here. What now, Diane? You're much more engaged, are you not? Look at her. She's like smiling now. So that's the difference. All right, so now Diane is going to take this ball, hit it to outside to Cat. So you step in the kitchen, hit it to Cat, lob her. Good, just get it up there. And then kill the next shot if she doesn't hit a good one. Lob her. Higher. Got it. Ding, hard. I was just Punch returning it, it to her no, to do no, it again. She's trying to. You know, I mean, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, whenever I'm the only one that's a teacher here, okay. 
you get to hit your ball, you get to hit yours, but okay. if she pops it up, practice, you need to practice that so no, she... I didn't know that was the objective. Okay, here we go. Good. Terry, are you with it? I'm with it. I'm watching her go backwards like that all the time. And, and I you're afraid of her? Breath. Yes. I could see that. Yes. She's she's pretty she good. It. She's pretty good. I'm not seeing... Have you fallen a lot? Yeah. No, you I have. have. Okay, but you're not in her shoes. She looks to me pretty safe with that. Don't make you over there. You would not do that. No. But she can. She's pretty well. I'm seeing it. It's not looking dangerous to me. Okay. Her balance is lower gravity. She's down here, and she's good balance. Very nice. But so that's why. So when you go back like that, go back a little bit. What am I now? Am I the blocker? I get bigger. I'll give her this. I'll give her down the line. She's going backwards. She's going to hit the middle for safety. Back towards you even. So that's why Terry needs to, after that overhead, Terry needs to come in as a blocker and poach that ball for the full advantage of your good lob. When she lobs cross court, she's setting you to take the next ball, not you coming back in. Do you guys see that? Yeah. Good. Let's try it one more time. So you're going to go inside out to cat, burn her, but, but not very much. You see the diagonal has such a long range. And what does it feel like for you? Hopeless. Nothing you can do. You can run parallel with that ball. You'll end up in the pool. You won't cut it off in an angle. The own, so, so is this case in point not okay. taken that way? Um, Kat, you're going to hit it. You're going to hit it. Did we already do everybody do it? I Do one, do one more. Do it to Diane. No, with the back hand. That's good. Now stay up here. Be ready. Be ready. Hit it. Hit it. Oh. <laughs> All right. Go get a drink of water.